members of Mali's security forces have cast their ballots during early voting ahead of the new constitutional referendum. The referendum slated for June 18th is a major milestone on the road to elections promised for February 2024. On June 11th, soldiers cast their ballots in Bamako in early voting. I'm very happy to be the first voter in my capacity as the regiment commander and I'm very proud to have fulfilled my civic duty and I urge all my colleagues to come and vote, says Lieutenant Colonel Mohamed Ramine Dombia, regimental commander of the 34th Regiment of Military Engineers. The draft constitution strengthens the power of the president and under it the president rather than the government appoints the prime minister and ministers. The president also has the right to sack them all as well as dissolve parliament. But there are sections of the draft that have already triggered controversy. A part of that says Mali is an independent, sovereign, unitary, indivisible, democratic, secular and social republic has got imams, a powerful religious class in the Sahelian nation contesting the principle of secularism. Come June 18th, voters will have to respond by a yes or a no to that question. On the referendum that government spokesperson Colonel Abdullahi Maiga says will be do you approve of the draft constitution? Say yes or no. One of the members of the security forces who voted Sunday said the vote had gone well. Everything is going fine since the opening of the polling station. Everything is in place. All the equipment is prepared. Everything is there for voting. We started at 8 a.m. and will continue until 6 p.m. Chaka Sangale, commander of the French Air Force, chairman of the polling station number one, said, Constitutional charge changes has long been debated in Mali. A referendum set for 2017 did not take place, and this June 18th referendum will be the first national vote since 2022. 2020. The military currently enjoys a strong popular support according to an opinion poll of 2,295 Malians by Germany's Friedrich Albert Stiftung Foundation in February. More than 9 out of 10 people said they were satisfied with the authorities. 3 out of 5 declared that keeping the deadline to restore civilian 